Jo, Dame und Herren, herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Hm. Die Sachen habe ich noch. Okay. Hm, was? Irgendwas in Rachels Geschichte stimmt nicht. Ich muss den Hinweis Lennarts Zimmer nachgehen. Es herausfinden. Stimmt nicht. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was MT Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. But she was a classmate. She couldn't have been wrong. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. <coughs> I thought I was the skeptical one here. 30 Meter fallen. Also es gibt auch schon Leute, die äh, aus einem Flugzeug gefallen sind. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, Bob, I'll hear you out. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Huh. Yeah, that was the official version. You know... I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. <coughs> ich mag keine Pfarrer auf mich. Wirkt er wie ein Alien. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, <coughs> demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But... Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Sieht von hinten ein bisschen aus wie Donald Trump. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got... Notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? 
As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. <coughs> okay. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Ich weiß, was genau passiert ist. Lass mich etwa aufhalten. You'll have to get out of this phone thing and drag me into town. You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me. At least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Ah, ich dachte schon, ich könnte jetzt noch was machen. <lacht> Ist sie wirklich tot? Woher soll ich das wissen? Talk 5. Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you too. Say it again, please. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Rachel, 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 Rachel. Ich liebe dich auch, Rachel? Jetzt so gesehen, <lacht> Welt durch Rachels Augen gesehen. Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <lacht> so the usual frozen beans. Die Hälfte. Sehr scharf. Sein. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, <laughs> so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. 
Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, Shetsu. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? Don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones are better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I didn't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's giving off a glare and burns out the same. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap. You're freaking me Holy up. shit. There it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear Dad, I... Dad, stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? Oh. That's it? Okay. Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. <laughs> what happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. <coughs> yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Also, 117. Hm, <coughs> würde ich sagen, gehen wir doch direkt mal dahin. Gucken mal. Ja, dann ist es auf der anderen Seite. Ja. Müsste der Raum hier sein, ne? Ja. Hey! I found the room. But someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. Seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Okay, let's go first down. Willst du den nicht... Ich meine, du suchst nach einem Schraubenzieher und 
Raums hier befinden sich des Öfteren in Werkzeugkisten. Driver? Oh? I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. <laughs> Superstitious, but... If someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. Schrauben's hier. Foster wäre andere mal nur Katzen und pengige Tiere. Soll man sagen, dass Gebete Glück bringen? Ich bezweifle, dass Reverend Foster das genauso wie bei Schrauben's hier schon dabei. dafür gekriegt, weil ich einen Schraubenzieher aufgehoben habe. Von dem man mir vorher gesagt hat, wo er ist. Das hört sich an wie diese, kennt ihr diese Windspiele, die man draußen aufhängt und so und wenn es dann windig wird, dann hört man dieses Klimper und so. Hat sich das gerade eben angehört ein bisschen. Und mir kam es Eins mal mal wirklich so vor, als äh, wenn ich da, als ich da durchgelaufen bin, als ob ich woanders dann auch noch irgendwie so. Habt ihr das gerade eben? Es hat sich angehört, als hätte ich, ich glaube, ich spiele mir das ein. Es hat sich doch eben echt so angehört, als hätte so ein Mädchen irgendwie genossen oder so. Also, hat Ski gemacht. Zumindest hat es sich für mich so angehört. How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole Rachel story really bring them here? <coughs> Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. <sighs> So sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Ich muss doch einen Grund haben, warum wir das gekriegt haben. Kann man hier irgendwie was durch die Wände durch oder so? Scheint nicht. Okay, da ist gerade eben mein Spiel ein bisschen abgeschmiert. Und ja. Dann werde ich mal gucken. 
Kassette, ne? Das ist ja nicht nur. VS-Kassette, alles klar. Gucken wir uns das mal an. Das auch was leise. Als ich mir das Video angeguckt habe, da ist da hinten irgendwo was umgefallen. Und jetzt hat sich die Tür bewegt. Das ist komisch, aber wir sollen uns ja hier alles angucken von denen. Rachel Foster. Shirt, Jeans, Brown Anorak. Hey! Ha! Fuck! Arschloch. For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. <laughs> so. uh, <laughs> what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. You should be. You're never going to believe it. Ja, das war schon ein kleines bisschen merkwürdig. Sie wollte eigentlich nur 20 Minuten bleiben. Ist jetzt den siebten Tag da. Man ist bedenkt, den einen Tag musste sie ja da bleiben. Den anderen Tag hatte der Sturm so gesehen seinen Höhepunkt gehabt. Am nächsten Tag würde er vielleicht ein kleines bisschen abklingen. What the fuck? Still there? Where else should I be? 
Tags Heiligabend nicht Tags heute. Home. I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go. I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. Uns nie getroffen. Was willst du damit sagen? But I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> Vielleicht wetze ich gerade die Messer. Ich dachte, du wärst ein Pfadfinder. What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, <laughs> and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Flirtest du etwa mit mir? Ich froh, dass du hier bist. Irving, are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh, no. <laughs> What are you... I mean, it's just... I... Relax. I was kidding. <laughs> I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, mm -hmm. no. I, I, I don't hear that. anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. Ja, dann würde ich mal sagen, war es das für heute mit The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Ich hoffe mal, es hat euch soweit gefallen. Wenn ja, würde ich mich über einen Daumen nach oben freuen. Wenn ihr noch nicht abonniert habt, dann tut das. Und wenn ihr Bock drauf habt, dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bleibt gesund, passt auf euch auf, haut da rein. <lacht>